This is the video lesson for section 9-2 where we're going to be talking about reflections. We're going to focus on how to reflect a single point across the line and then also taking that and reflecting an entire image across the line. So what's really important to understand about a reflection is that your shape is going to be the same size, same shape. It's not going to change. It's just going to flip across that line, which makes the orientation reverse. So this line that we are reflecting over is called our line of reflection. And what's really important to understand is if something's on that line, like for instance, point A in this picture, when you reflect, point A remains in the exact same spot. It's now just called A prime. Versus if you have something like point B, you're going to take that distance to the line and go the exact distance away from it. That's where you'll find B prime, which is the image of point B. So let's look at a couple examples. The first thing we're going to do is look at just how to reflect a single point over a line. So I'm going to plot this point 3, 4. And here I'm going to reflect over the line y equals 1, which is this line right here, y equals 1. So that's my line of reflection. And when I do this, I'm just going to determine the distance from my point to the line. And then I'm going to go that exact same distance away from my line. So three units from it on this side, three units from it on this side. This is my new point P. This was P. This is now P prime. Okay, so let's look at another example. I've got point F, which is at coordinates 2, 3. That's point F. This pencil is really thin. Okay, so there's F. And I am reflecting over the y-axis. My y-axis is this line right here. And when I reflect over that, I need to determine what my distance is. So my distance right now is 2, so I need to go away 2. This is my new point, which we call f prime. So there's a u-try problem for you. And now on this slide, we're going to take an entire image. So we're going to be dealing with some triangles, and we're going to reflect them first over a horizontal, or first over a vertical line, then over a horizontal line. So our first line of reflection is the y-axis, this right here. That's our line of reflection. And I have three points that I need to plot on my graph. So A is negative 3, 4, and B is 0, 1. C is 4, 2. So there's my three points. I'm going to take those, and because this is an entire image, I'm going to connect those with lines to make my triangle. And now when I reflect this image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of those three points and reflect them individually. Then I'll go back and I'll connect my dots. So A was three units, so I move away three units. There's A prime. B, oh, B is on the line of reflection, which means it just stays there and becomes B prime. And then C, I need to move four units, so there's my C value. All right, so I connect my dots. I'm going to do that with a little bit of a thicker marker so you can see A, B, C prime, A prime, B prime, C prime, my purple triangle, that is my reflection of the original orange triangle, A, B, C. So let's look at another example. We've got X, Y, Z. X is at negative 4, 3. Y is at 2, 6. Oops, my point's going to be a little bit off of my graph, but that's okay. And Z is at negative 1, negative 8, again, off my graph but that's okay. I'm going to connect those dots to create my original triangle, which is called my pre-image. So there's my pre-image, and I want to take that and I want to reflect it across the x-axis. So the x-axis is this one right here. I'm going to take each of my points individually, and I'm going to reflect each of them individually. So my x, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now there's x prime. My y, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's y prime. And z, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is z prime. So what I've done is I've reflected each of my three corners of my triangle. So now I just need to go back and I need to connect those dots. Z, X, Y. So there's my new triangle, X prime, Y prime, Z prime. And that is the reflection of the original darker blue triangle, X, Y, Z, when it has been reflected over the X axis. So there's a U try for you, and then that's it for this video.